right. A little rear bar change there for Wink Cup. It's very strong under brakes. It's the strongest car of the field at turn nine. Well, he's able to run the car in a little bit quicker late in the stop Wink Cup because his big corner speed's a bit stronger than Scott. Scott's having to slow the car a little bit more. So Wind Cup's getting very close. If he could get a better exit off seven, he'd have a crack at him down there, but I'm not sure that he's strong enough at seven at the moment. I reckon this is the spot he's get. I reckon he's worked out that he can't get it done at nine. Oh, big move! He locked a wheel and ran into the dirty stuff. That may be the thing for Scott McLaughlin now to get to the end. That little gap, the, the gap there now is 0.8 of a second on that lap. Wind Cup lost about four tenths because it's a 22.5 versus a 22.9. And huge pressure and temperature here for Scott McLaughlin, and he is not blinking. So you got Wind Cup all over you going into the final corner. It looks as though he could even give you a quick drilling as you get down there, and we're not seeing any faltering at all from McLaughlin. In fact, caught the dirt. Yeah, left rear dropped onto the dirt there for Wind Cup. That explains it a little bit more, but it's giving him a cushion. Here it is again from the back of Scotty's car. And, and I think Wind Cup's worked out that that's actually the spot, Neil. I think that if he gets out of turn 11, the left-hander behind the pits, that the turn 13 run and the final corner is probably going to be a better spot than turn nine. Positions four, oh. five, and six here. Quinta hit that curb on the inside really hard, and here comes Mostert. He's having a much better run in this second race than the first. Had a power steering drama if he weren't with our coverage earlier in the day in race one for car six. Off loan to Dick Johnson Racing last year. Joined the series of the Perth round of the championship and really made his presence felt. A win at Queensland Raceway. Drafted back into the factory squad for 2014 when Will Davison went to Erebus Motorsport. He's only a car length away from his teammate Mark Winterbottom, and Coulthard was very lucky to get away with that one today. Oh, he hit the curb on the inside as hard as I've seen anyone all weekend. It bounced the car wide. You can see he's already hit the tyres at turn one because the front air dam is dislodged. And this will be good for Mostert's confidence, Neil. It's a very good run to get to where he is. And he knows in the race, in this particular part, of today's proceedings, he's been every bit as fast, if not faster, than his teammate. Good job here, Garth Tander as well, who's watching brief on this little pack. So Garth is seventh. Remember, he had some strife in the first race with a little misfire at the top end of the rev range and a problem with the front wing on the car, the air dam. So he's gathered it up now and is in the game. We're watching Mark Winterbottom in the office. He's busy, glimpsing the rear view mirror at the moment on the run to eight. There's going to be, be oh, a drama out of did this. Did you see Frosty? Oh, oh, there'll be a drama out of that. Seriously, I stepped wild. back in the commentary box and he's the five repeaters from me. That was very spooky through there because Coulthard was so close to the back of his car. It was light. It makes it light in the rear end. It destabilises the aero. Here we go, Wink Cup, you're right. Mark, he's on him at the final corner. That could be the spot. And Jamie has been rack racking up curb hops. He's using up what he's got left over the last couple of laps. If you're Scott, you've got to run straight through. Run it straight through. Yep. Did he get one? No, he still didn't. He just drive it across there. An extraordinary drive from this 20-year-old holding off the five-time series champ who's at the peak of his powers. <laughs> the ride control of that Red Bull car under brakes in turn four there was really impressive. He's right on the rear bumper of the Volvo. These guys playing for keeps. Look at Wink Cup. He's all over the back of this thing. He's got to get an exit here as they make the run to seven. If he's off here cleanly and he can harass McLaughlin, he has. his chance may come when they get down to turn nine. This is the moment. He's closer now on the run to eight. This is what he's got to do. Let's watch, listen and learn. Nothing in it. Move it over, Scotty. Bit of well anything. Done. McLaughlin can hold his ground there and Wind Cup is at the absolute edge of the braking performance. He goes wide. No. He's trying to get underneath him. When they get to 10, the crowd reacts. This is fantastic. Wind Cup up the inside. McLaughlin. Oh. What a battle! Unbelievable! Craig oh, Austin no. wins! The it's Scott Hayes is back! And Scott McLaughlin puts one on the chair! And Volvo in the second on debut! Sensational Scott McLaughlin! That is brilliant! 
absolute brilliance. Well done, Scott McLaughlin and Jamie Wincup. That's Absolutely. as tough as an exchange gets. He may have given Jamie Wincup a little bump then. Hey, Gary. Gary Rotley wants to give his boys a cuddle. <laughs> You know how tough this game is, better than anyone, mate. What a spectacular effort by both your team and your driver. Well, it was. I mean, it's tough, Clarko, you know, but just, he never gave up, mate. <laughs> Look at you, mate. Yeah. Good on you, mate. Really happy for you. Fantastic. Tears in his eyes. Gary loves a fighter. And he's got a true one in Scott McLaughlin. Now, let's take a look at this final turn. So, Wing Cup's got him. They rub panels. Scott goes on the inside. Winkup just went wide by himself. And McLaughlin put the hammer down to get second position. Great job. Wow. No bump and run in that. No, no drama at all. Look at this, guys. This, this is unbelievable. How Scott McLaughlin did not end up in the fence on the exit of that turn, I'll never know. But Jamie should be complimented for that Absolutely. because he could have fed him in. Absolutely. Great exchange. Brilliant motor racing. Total respect. They gave each other space. And that's as good a contest as you'll see. Look oh. at that. McLaughlin had the thing <laughs> wheel spinning and tail wagging in second gear when he came off turn 11. And watch this. He positions back on the race line. That's where the grip is. Traditional line. Makes the apex. Jamie picks up the throttle and slides it. And Scotty gets one. How's that? He's no Sunday Volvo driver. He's a Saturday Volvo racer. With a hell of a fight. But congratulations to Craig Lowndes. And Jeremy Moore, so Red Bull Racing deliver a one-two punch in terms of victory. And this huge crowd, 80,000 people here today, they've seen a, well, another classic. Lowndes, who won the first race here in 1999, now has six race wins at this circuit. And this will be emotional. And the Red Bull team are out there to applaud Scott they, McLaughlin as well. They did. All of pit lane were doing this. This was just a fantastic reaction from the industry for Gary Rogers Motorsport and Scott McLaughlin. Well done, Lounsey. Yeah. 95 race wins now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lounsey goes over to congratulate Scott McLaughlin because we appreciate the enormity of what he has achieved. But congratulations to you, Craig Lounsey, I and mean, that's why you are the champion. Uh, mate, tremendous effort. You end day one as the championship leader. Nice way to start this year. Yeah, thanks, Barrett. Uh, yeah, look, yeah, it was great to have the first uh, race out of the way. We had a great one, too. I was actually watching the big stream, watching these two guys how going out at Hammer and Tong, so uh, luckily I had a bit of a buffer. But uh, look, credit to the guys in Red Bull. It's, uh, we made a few tweaks over, uh, you know, between races. The sun was a little bit of a worry for about five laps, but then, of course, it disappeared uh, behind all the, uh, the buildings, and away we went. So uh, what a day. Those tweaks all set for tomorrow now? Oh, look, for sure, no doubt. And uh, we've obviously got to think about a longer race, not just the sprint races. But, uh, you know, the boys will do a fantastic job. We've got a car in one piece. So, look, it's all looking good. But I just going to say hello to Levi and Chili at home. It's looking good. Good on you, Lousy. Congratulations. Hey, come with me now, folks. Let's catch up with this guy as he embraces his team, Scotty McLaughlin. It has been a remarkable result. And uh, as he just catches up with Richard and the crew, Scotty, that was incredible. That is going to be one of the great moments of the year, and you've nailed it again. Well done. Holy cow. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, nah, seriously, my boys, man, um, I can't thank them enough. It was amazing. Richard, the crew, all the fans, you guys are playing the Volvo jokes, but I guess they're gone now. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, thanks, guys, and... Um, Mate, this is, I've never been this happy second. Jesus. <laughs> now, just take us through the emotions for you. You're on the last lap. You've got Jamie Wincup on your tail. He gets by you. Yeah. What happens then? Oh, I was an idiot. I, I slowed down too much. So I, uh, I should have blocked him a bit better. But he got me, and then we went side by side. It was pretty good racing, and I don't know what happened on there. I, I just plucked her in first and gave some jam. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We understand there's a level of excitement, Scott. Sorry, sorry. Sorry to all the little kids out there. <laughs> but congratulations, Adam. And what a way to kickstart your team. What a way to bring Volvo into V8 Supercars. Volvo, Polestar, Valvoline. Thanks, guys. Um, hopefully we've got more of this. Yes. 